السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ربی شرح لی صدری و یسدی عمری وحل العقد تم لسانی یقہ قولی ربنا زدنا علما اللہم فقہنا فی الدین اللہم انفعنا بما علمتنا و علمنا ما ینفعنا و زدنا علما والحمدللہ علی کلی حال اللهم إني أسألك علما نافيا ورزقا طيبا وأملا متقبلا آمين يا رب العالمين So here we are with our session number 39 and I am going to start with a review of um, Frail Mudare that we started in our um, last um, couple of uh, classes So um, I would like to ask my dear sisters um, what is the standard use of Frail Mudare? When do we use fail mudare? When we use fail mudare, what does it denote? So I'm hoping for some answers here. So fail mudare is used to denote present tense. It is used to denote future tense. It is used for continuity when action has been happening uh, several times, right? All those uh, are the standard uses of um, fail mudare, right? And when uh, we talk about non-standard use of fail mudare, what comes to mind? What do you think? When do we see fail mudare? Sometimes we see fail mudare being used for events of the past. Yes, to paint a picture, something that has happened in remote past and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to visual, uh, visualize the scene. For example, there were battles that happened in the past and just to, uh, just to help us visualize those battles and what was happening there, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make it present tense instead of past tense, right? Sometimes uh, there, was a, uh, there are such important events in history um, uh, that, that are um, recorded in Quran, in, uh, like building of Kaaba. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to visualize the whole scene, what was happening, what was um, uh, Ismail alayhi salam and um, Ibrahim alayhi salam saying while building Kaaba. So they were saying, Rabbana taqabbal minna inna kanta samiul alim. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala quoted um, that event, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used ild yarfa'u, right? So it was a present tense that was being used for the, uh, an event of a remote past, right? And then there we saw um, sometimes you will see present tense being used for an emphatic command, like, you know, women should remain in their house. The divorced women should remain in the house for three periods, right? For after, uh, for the, um, they should not you know, their, their idda after um, divorces, three, mo and three months of purity or three menstrual cycles, right? So keep that in mind. And then there was one more, um, which was, you know, if sometimes uh, you will see a word is, and after that, depending on the context, you will translate um, the, uh, the sentence either in past or in future, okay? Keep that in mind, inshallah. So, and yes, when pres, um, pre, um, fail mudari is used to give a command, it is an emphatic way of giving a command. Yes, barakallahu feek, dear sister. So, is there any difference between Hamza and Alif? And this is um, uh, not grammar, but um, it's important for uh, all of us to know. Because when we say um, uh, our signs of mudari, is it, uh, what are the signs of mudari? Who can remind me uh, the signs of mudari real quick? Anita, very well done. So it is um, A in um, Anita represents um, uh, Hamza, right? Noon, noon uh, N is noon. 
and um, it, um, I is uh, Yata, right? So Anita, very well done, very well done. So you never say that your sign of Mudare is Alif because Alif, Alif can never be seen in the beginning of the word, okay? And your sign of Mudare is always, sign of Mudare, where do we see sign of Mudare? In the beginning or at the end? Where do you think we see our sign of Mudare? Where should we look for the sign of Mudare? Yes, we should look for the sign of Mudare at the beginning of the word. So keep that in mind. It is very, very, very important. And Aleph can never, ever be at the beginning of the word. Okay, keep that in mind, inshallah. So who remembers the Af'alul Khamsa? What should they have? Af'alul Khamsa. We did it in our last session as well, but these are so important um, when we are learning Fail Mudare that I wanted to go over them again. Okay, so these are those of all that have Va'ul, Va'ul Jama'a, very well done. What else? Ya'ul Mukhatiba, yes. And one more. Aleful is name, very well done. So all those of al that have vawil jama'a, aleful is name, ya'ul muhataba in them, they will be called al afalul khamsa. Noon in al afalul khamsa is called. It's called. What is the, the name of the noon? We just you know we said uh, we gave it a name in English and there was a name for it in Arabic too. No, if it was, to, you know, um, no, no, it cannot be Nunu Niswa, no. Think about another Nun. Nunul Arab, yes, it is Nunul Arab. So there is a difference between the Nun of Al of Alul Khamsa and Nunu Niswa. No, the, the Nunu Niswa is where you see a fail that has an inbuilt pronoun, hunna and antunna. In af'alul khamsa, al af'alul khamsa don't have hunna and antunna because af in the, um, uh, antunna um, uh, and hunna af'al are not included in al af'alul khamsa because they do not have wa'u or alif or yaul muqatba. Do you remember? They don't have, do they? Yansurna, do you see any vow, alif, or ya? Do you see any vow, alif, or ya in case of tansurna? No, right? There is no, nothing like that. So you, they are e not even included in Allah of Alul Khamsa. Your Afalul Khamsa here are being denoted by gray, okay? The gray um, color is uh, of Afalul Khamsa. So they will only be those that have aliful, aliful asnain, vaul jama'a. Ya'ul Muhataba. Okay, these are the only, only three structures th that are there that have to be there for a fail to be called to be called from one of the uh, fail from Al Afalul Khamsa. Okay, I hope this is clear. Okay, so um, the next question is. So what was the difference between the noon of al-af'alul khamsa and noon al-niswa? What do you think? What do you think? Is it, um, what could be the difference between this noon and this noon? If you do not remember, let me tell you, this noon, what does it denote? When I ask you, do you see your doer in Yansurna, what, do you, what is your answer? Yes, it is a doer pronoun. Nunu Niswa is a doer pronoun. Whereas al -af 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 the noon of al -af Alul Khamsa, it's not a doer pronoun. What is the doer pronoun in al -af Alul Khamsa? The doer pronouns in al -af Alul Khamsa are Alif, Waw, Ya. Keep that in mind. Alif, Wow, yeah, but nunu niswa, nunu niswa itself is a is a pronoun, right? It tells us that this is the 
inbuilt pronoun of this fail because in the beginning of our uh, fail when i was i started teaching you fail i taught you that every every fail has an inbuilt pronoun right and sometimes that pronoun will be visible sometimes it's not going to be visible but in case of hunna yansurna antunna tansurna it is visible in the form of nunu niswa and yes nunu niswa is non flexible right and your hunna and antunna of al are non flexible they remain unchanged in all the stat all uh, statuses right in all the statuses they will remain unchanged how many statuses al filul mudare has 1 2 3 4 5 6 how many very well done yes your filul mudare has three statuses so does anyone remember the names raf yes and uh, mudare marfu yes mudare mansub and then your mudare can be mudare majzum right how many statuses al failul mudmadi has what do you think about fail madi did i ever teach you any status in case of failul madi what do you think al filul madi is very stable it remains unchanged its ending remains unchanged it does not change it is non flexible it only has one way to present itself it is mabni so we do not you know see it in marfu majzum and mansub status okay so it only has one status it's it's it, it, it will be mabni don't we don't worry about status in case of al filul madi is it clear type one if it is alhamdulillah so the rough status is denoted by dhamma in case of afal with pronouns blank 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 what are those afal that will have um following pronouns and the mudare is going to end with dhamma so you if you have memorized your mudare table you will know because that you was that was your assignment for your last session so who is going to tell me your fail must have what in it for it to end with dhamma if your mudare is huwa yansuru if your mudare is hiya hiya tansuru if your mudare is anta tansuru if your mudare is ana ansuru if your mudare is nahnu nansuru your mudare will end with dhamma your mudare will end with dhamma on the last letter it will end with dhamma on the last letter and that will be the sign of that will be the sign of rough status right just look uh, refer to uh, let's refer to our table right in case of hua yansuru hi atansuru anta tansuru ana ansuru nahnu nansuru how did my mudare end it is ending with dhamma on the last two letter sometimes sometimes this dhamma may not be visible okay and that will be implied dhamma okay sometimes we imagine it to be there because the word ends with certain um letters that cannot have dhamma kasra fatha okay type 1 if this is clear type 2 if it is not sometimes we will assume that our mudare is ending with dhamma okay and i will show you some examples and inshallah that will be clear okay so keep that in mind inshallah now mansub and majzum status in afal ul khamsa is denoted by what happens in afal ul khamsa in mansub and majzum status when they are made majzum and mansub al afal ul khamsa Hmm? 
No, you are talking, we are talking about Al-Af'alul Khamsa. They all end with what? Tell me what? What is the ending? What is the ending of Al-Af'alul Khamsa? Look at this gray table. How is all of Alul Khamsa um, ending? They are ending with Noon. They are ending with Noon. They are ending with Noon. They are ending with Noon, Noon, and Noon. So when they are made Mansub or Madzum, their Noon gets dropped. They don't take Fatha because they are all ending with Noon. The mechanism of making the mansub or madzum was just drop the noon. Hmm? You just make the madzum or mansub by dropping noon. Is this clear? Type one if it is. Okay. I have. Um, Few people because I know it's um, about um, time um, to to have occasion. But inshallah, whosoever is here, try your best to benefit. Okay, inshallah. So in case of rough status, the rough status in case of al afalul khamsa is denoted by what? By the presence of. Let me put the here. Mansub is nasb. Mansub is nasb. Mansub and nasb, you know is the same thing. But mansub or nasb status in case of af'al is different. It's not going to be equivalent to what we do in ism, okay? But um, fortunately, some of our af'al are ending with dhamma in case of rough status. So we can relate it um, to um, how we learn the statuses in ism. And some of our af'al are ending with um, fatha in case of our mansub status. However, we, we have other af'al as well, like af'alul khamsa, right? Alhamdulillah. So yes, Sister uh, Zohra, your noon is denoting your status in case of al af'alul khamsa, the rough status is denoted by the presence of noon. Very well done. Barakallahu feek. What are the three ways to make mudare madzum? How will I make my mudare madzum? There were three ways that we learned, and I know it is it was a whole lot of information, but inshallah, we should be we should be able to retain it, inshallah. So number, yeah, you can drop noon. That is one way. Barakallah fiq. What is another way? Let me show you mudare and drop the noon what that is one one of the um, ways and yes the first one is that if your word is sahi if your last letter is sahi not word if your last letter is sahi you will just put a sakoon on the word uh, on the last letter right you are going to put a sakoon in case of mudare madzum in case of mudare madzum no fatha your word is madzum it's going to end with jazm so what is the ending jazm? It is basically you are going to put a sakoon on the last letter. Or the second way is you remove noon and your mudari is going to be madzum. And this happens in what case? How do we, what, what af'al are made madzum by removal of the noon? You can even uh, type um, a a K, if uh, you want to refer to uh, uh, Af al Khamsa. Yes, those are Af al that are made Majzum or Mansub by the drop omission of the noon, Hazfun noon. Okay. And then, um, the, as Sister uh, Zohra has already answered, that you, the third way is to drop the last letter. And that happens when your last letter is a weak letter. So who remembers the weak letters in Arabic? What are the three letters that are al huruful illa in Arabic? Ya, wow, alif. Very well done. Barakallahu fi granaz. Very proud of you. Very proud of you. So alif, wow, and ya are your weak letters, right? So al huruful illa, you are always going to say alif, wow, and ya. Very well done. So it is so very important 
not to confuse alif and hamza then okay because your hamza is not haruful illa alif is haruful illa okay so they are two separate guys they're not the same actually they are girls because we treat them as you know girls so I'll, um let's see the next question is adama'il uh, adama'irul bariza in fi'lul mudari what are those can you see can you tell me in i have the table in front in front of you so let me just enlarge it a little bit so that you know it is more visible so and who remembers what are adama'irul bariza bariza indicate something is yes? very well done so i see an answer um answer is coming something is visible so visible pronouns this is the meaning of adamairul bariza adamairul bariza are the visible pronouns the ones that we can see the hidden ones are going to be called adamairul mustatira right adamir al mustatir or adamairul mustatira why i am um, 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 let me just you know finish this question then i will ask you about this thing okay so now so i am seeing there is an alif there is an alif that was written then that's a correct answer there is a waw that's a correct answer then there is a noon here that's a correct answer and then there is a ya here and that is also a correct answer always remember these four if you remember them life is going to be easy inshallah and you will learn you know whatever you will learn in future on top of learning all these concepts inshallah you will start loving it you will start loving your journey of learning grammar inshallah so what do you see here how are the, these two words connected adamair albariza or i can put haraka for for you as well adamairul barizatu yes al mawsuf as sifa so why is al bariza singular used for adamair that is plural that is a broken plural why is that used why is a single feminine used for plural broken plural because our yes ta is indicating the word is feminine but your broken plurals your non human plurals or your broken non human broken plurals if you remember learning gender they are they are feminine right you so it's a broken plural and it is and and your even your sound uh, plurals are mostly treated as single feminine okay yes because that's how they are treated right answer because you know that is the way arabs treated them that is why i put a tamar buta at the end to describe this word right now let's see our our fail in madi and because i don't want you to forget when you are learning your present tense that you totally forget your past tense so al fail in madi what are al damairul bariza in case of fail in madi so start from the beginning the first row go in row wise and then inshallah you everything will be easy so the first one is in case of fail in ma uh, madi the first visible pronoun is alif then waw then again this alif ta is just a sign of feminine this alif only is a sign of um is a visible pronoun then noon then noon and then this ta you can just write ta you can just write ta when you have ta with fatha it denotes you masculine when you have ta with dhamma that is followed by ma this ma is called ma uttasniya and that tells you doers were two but the actual pronoun is ta when you go to nasartum ta is denoting the actual pronoun meme is there to tell you what where what is the function of meme here once upon a time we learned it meme is denoting masculine masculine plural right meme is denoting masculine plural in case of nasarti ta is the doer pronoun 
in, again in Nasartuma, ta was the dual pronoun. Ma is ma uttasniya, denoting number two. Number two, there are two people doing the action. In case of Nasartunna, ta is the dual pronoun. And noon mushaddada, noon mushaddada here, is, this is not the same noon as noon fatha. When noon is mushaddada, it is only there to indicate feminine plural. If you go back to your slides, inshallah, everything is um, clearly written, you know, what is the function of each and every letter in your, in your uh, Fein Mahdi, okay? So what is pronoun ta, pronoun ta, pronoun ti, right? The ta was the pronoun everywhere, if you remember. And then here as well, uh, no, sorry, not this one, this one. This one again, you know, so Aleph is the, you know, um, or Ma, to, some say Ma, Ma, Ma Tasnia is the Alamatul, Alamatul, Alamatul Tasnia, and some say Aleph only is the sign of Tasnia, but you know, Ma, if you say Ma is denoting two, that is fine as well, okay? So both are right because there are two views about this Ma, okay? But majority view is Ma Tasnia, keep that in mind, inshallah. So noon was for feminine plural. Noon mushadada is for feminine plural. Meme is for masculine plural. Okay. So um, and then uh, noon fata alif is denoting what? Who remembers? In case of nasarna, yes, alama to tasniya means dual. Tasniya or its name or musanna they are all, you know, denoting two or pair. Yes, Sister Zarina, very well done. Na is denoting we and it is the dual pronoun in case of al felul Madi Nahnu. Good job. So that was the review. So um, let's just um, um, start with what we were supposed to learn today. Okay, inshallah, bismillah. So we have learned how we can make, uh, you know, how uh, um, sometimes mudare can have three statuses, right? So everyone is well versed with the three statuses of mudare, right? So sign of rough, sign of nasp, sign of just everything is something that we have covered, right? And everyone is now very well aware of three statuses that are, are al fail mudare have okay and um now what's what makes mudare marfu you don't have to you know worry about that part because rough is the default status of an ism right in case of fail in case of fail mudare marfu is the default status mudare should be rough there has to be a reason for it to be mansub or madsu Okay, the default status of your mudare, by default, your mudare should be rough in status. It should be ending with the ma, okay, in case of hua, hiya, anta, and anachno, or uh, and with noon, in case of apalul khamsa, and with noon, niswa, in case of hunna and antunna. So that is, you know, um, the, the default status, okay, your mudare should be marfu, but there has to be a reason for it to be. Mansub or Madzu. So today, the you know we were going to learn Harufun Nasiba Vajazima. Okay, Harufun Nasiba Vajazima. The Haruf that are going to be there before your Mudare that are going to change the status of Mudare. Who remembers Harufun Nasiba that make in a Mansub or Nas? What was, uh, uh, what were those? Anyone remembers? Once upon a time we did them. Like there were certain haruf that made our ism jar. Yes. Har mushabba will fail or har nasp, right? Har haruf and nasp, right? So they were inna, Anna, ka anna, leita, la alla, la kinna, right? So, similarly, what we are going to do is in case of fail mudare, 
we are going to learn the particles when they are present before our failul mudare they are going to make our mudare mansub okay there has to be a reason for your mudare to be mansub and these are main reasons for your mudare to be mansub they are most common reasons for your mudare to be mansub except for one ithin ithan rest all are you will see in quran this one you are not going to see in quran when you see your mudare that is nasb in status or mansub ending with fatha or has noon dropped you, what are you going to look for you are going to look for these signs okay an lan likai sometimes this likai can be separated they can be li and kai hatta fa you will have these these five particles before your mudare that are going to make your mudare mansub is this clear type one if it is just like we memorized inna anna kanna laita la alla lakinna bata kaf lam waw in oh, sorry bata kaf lam waw an min fi ila ala hatta similarly we are going to memorize an nal likai kai li kai hatta fa similarly you know there's no difference okay fa us sababiya just you know uh, because remember if you remember in our previous sessions you have learned fa as an ataf right fa you have learned as an ataf as well so fa us sababiya is a different uh, type of fa so don't worry about sababiya fa don't worry about this part okay as sababiya you can skip this part but just remember just fa is going to be there letter fa is going to be there before your fail fail al mudare and that letter fa has um you know can uh, you will you can see a uh, mudare mansub after this letter fa okay everyone with me so far type one okay so now the you will see the how um, you will see that you know some of them have the power on their own to make a change in failul mudare about others it is said that they themselves do not have power but they have this un guy hidden after them okay this un is hidden after them and that un actually makes mudare mansub they are themselves very they don't have an ability to make mudare mansub this is something um we will learn inshallah later in great detail but for now if you just memorize these you will be good okay so an lan li kai li kai hatta izan fa izan is not used in quran but still you know you will see in most arabic grammar books and in in lectures um it is uh, taught so i cannot just simply skip it so keep that in mind it's not used in uh, quran but at the same time i cannot just uh, skip it because this is something um that is part of uh, arabic okay in uh, sorry an lan li kai li kai hatta izan fa okay keep that in mind so now what are the particles that are going to be there and they are going to make my mudare majzum and when i say majzum what are the three ways my mudare is going to look when it is in majzum form it can have number 1 it can have sakun okay it can have sakun if it was ending with noon and it is from afalul khamsa the noon gets dropped if it is ending with week letter the week letter gets dropped okay so those are the three ways my mudare can be majzum so there are certain particles uh, and words that uh, that can be there to make a mudare majzum so that the ones that you are going to memorize now are going to be in lam lamma li la in lam lamma li la 
So everyone, please um, keep yourself mute, but recite after me. In, lam, lamma, li, la. In, lam, lamma, li, la. Are you reciting? Type one if you are. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, because it's very important that we memorize them and um, we don't have to, you know, um, then uh, work so much uh, on them when, you know, the class has already ended and uh, is already on another topic, right? So, in means if, in means if, lam means did not, lamma is going to be translated as not yet, and li is translated as should. La is translated as do not, okay? And can you see this um, punctuation mark here? Do not. This is la of forbidding, okay? La of forbidding, okay? I'm going to come and explain each and every one of them. So in means if, it is a conditional particle. If you eat your food, I will give you a candy. So that is if. Lam is a particle. When it comes before mudare, it pushes the meaning into past tense. And, and what else does it do? It pushes the meaning into past tense and it negates it. It negates the, the uh, it uh, causes negation in the past tense. Lam, when you see it with failul mudare, it not only makes it madzum, it negates it and it pushes the meaning into past tense. That is why this lam is not only called harf nafi, but is also called harf nafiyin wa qalbin wa jazmin. Okay, so it makes mudari madzum. It changes. Just like our heart changes, kalbin, it is called kalbin, harfwe kalbin, because it changes the tense from mudare to past tense. Now, when you see it in front of your past tense, your translation is not going to be in present tense anymore. Uh, when you see it in front of your present tense or mudare, your translation is not going to be in present tense. It is going to be in the past tense. It will bring a past meaning to your sentence okay and it will negate the sentence as well and i will show you some examples and inshallah that will be clear lamma lamma is a word that will also push the meaning into you know when you look at bayina text it says that you know it pushes the meaning into future uh, that this has not yet happened but uh, you know, classical, um, um, uh, you know, Arabic um, says it the other way that it is also negation in the past. Okay. It is negation in the past. Li is called Lamul Amar as well. And it has a meaning of should. For example, if I say Li Yang Sur, it will mean he should help. Li Tang Sur, you should help. Did you notice? How I said and, um, and those two statements, how much emphasis was there? And I'm not just saying, okay, you help or you not help. No, it's not an informational sentence. It is a command there. There is something that I'm expecting of a listener. I, I, I'm, or, or so the third person as well. Um, I want them to do something. I'm commanding them to do something. And then last one is la, la, after it, you also see mudare in majzoom status. And that la is la nahya, which is going to be la of forbidding. Okay, because you will see la in Quran. And after that, if you see a regular mudare, a marfu mudare, and it is not majzoom, that is not forbidding. That is just a simple negation. But this la has an amal. This la can do something. It can make mudare after it majzoom 
and it is law of forbidding. Type 1 if it is um, something that is um, unclear or, and type 2 if it is not. La, there are other, there are many types of la. Commonly, you will see la in Quran where you don't see any change in the in the in the in, the, uh, in, in word you just you know you will just see notice that you know the law was there but it did not bring any change to uh, your um, tense there was no change at all law was there but no change but but if law is there and mudare after law is madzum that law is going to be la nahia okay and that law la is from particles that that can make a mudare majzu. I'm trying to go to this and let me see if I'm able to. Tanzil, I'm trying to show you here. Okay, let me take you to previous pages and show you for examples here. Okay. So see, what do you think about tuf sidu? What do you think about tuf sidu? Is it present tense or or, or fail mudare or madi? What do you think? L look carefully, mudare, right? It is mudare. Where is the sign of mudare? Tell me the sign of mudare. Very well done. You have ta there in the beginning. And if ta is there, you need to think about your mudari, right? Ta was there. That was your giveaway. So not only look at the end of the word, but look at the beginning of the word too. So now you have discovered this fail is mudari. Now think about, is there anything missing here? Do you see anything missing? Okay, what kind of fail it is? When you see wow, you think about what? Your answer is correct. Noon is missing, right? Noon is missing, right? When you think, when you look at your fail that is mudare and also has wow, you should only think about al afalul khamsa, right? And afalul khamsa are made madzum and mansub by omission of noon, by dropping noon, by has for noon. All three statements mean the same thing, but I just put them in different ways so that everyone understands, right? So wow is for plural, yes, absolutely. It is the dual pronoun here. It is telling me the dual pronoun, that I'm the dual pronoun here. But at the same time, I know it is from af'alul khamsa, and this is not my regular mudari. My regular mudari, my default status for mudari is, what is the default status for mudare? Just like in Islam, a mudare should also be a rough in status, right? It should be ending with dhamma or noon, right? But this one is not. Something is different here. So, yeah, it should be marfu, right? So, if it is, there is noon missing here and la is there, and la is there. So, this la is making this tufsidu madzum. Make it, making it drop its noon. So I have not learned the la in the haruful nasiba. I have learned the la in in haruful jazima, right? My haruful my haruful jazima have this la. So I am going to call this fail. I know now this fail is going to be not mansub because in mansub form it's going to look the same. But I know because of presence of this la that this is. La nahia, making my mudare majzum. Do you do most of you speak Urdu? Who speaks Urdu in class? Type one if you do. You speak nahi. When you say nahi, nahi karo. Don't do it. Right? Don't do it. Don't do it. Nahi, nahi. Right? So remember that nahi. In Arabic, 
the same thing is used. Nahiya, the one that forbids, that stops. Okay, the one that forbids. Nahiya, that the the one who does the function of nahi. Okay, he is the one who does the job of forbidding. Who does the job of nahi? Okay, now look at this one. La yash aruna. Can this la be la nahiya? La jazima or la nahiya? Can it be? Ranas, yash uruna. What is the status of your mudari here? What is the status of mudari? Al mudari, marfu. Right? It is rough in status. It is in default status. So this la is not the same as this la. This la is la jazima and this la is la nafia. But we don't need to worry about the names yet. But it has no amal. It did not do the amal of nahi. So it is la nafia. It did the amal of nafi, but it did not do any, it did not stop Right? It did not do a job of stopping. Okay? So the one that does not change the status of mudare after it is going to be la nafia. La nafia, like this one. And this one is jazima because it made the mudare matzu. Yes, it, this one is rough. Bisabuti noon. Yes, very well done, Sister Anas. Barakallahu feek. So you know that, that this was rough in status, but noon. So this cannot be la jazima, right? This is la nafia, regular la. Hmm? That has no action. That has no, it just does the function of nafi, but does not bring any change to my mudari afterwards. Let me ask you about this one. Yukhadi una. What do you think about yukhadi una? Is it mudari or Madi. Look carefully. Nobody is uh, willing to answer. What happened, sister? You the una. It is mudari, right? What? How do we know this is mudari? Yeah, simple, easy. It is yeah that helped me identify that this is mudare. Now, what is the status of this mudare? Yeah, in the beginning tells you this is mudare. Alamatul mudare. Now it's rough. Now tell me the doer of this mudare. Who is the doer of this mudare? Do you see a doer in this world? Wow, is the doer. Barakallahu feek, my dear sisters. Wow is the doer here. Don't forget this, okay? So when your wow, when you have a word that says wow in it, we know there are plural doers, right? And ya is indicating that it is, ya is there indicating what? Is it first person, second person, third person? Third person. Barakallahu feek. It is third person. Very good job. Okay. What do you think about this one? Who can tell me the status of this? And who, what is this? It is a rough status and it is fail mudare and fail mudare is being denoted by sign ya. I can repeat it. So in case of uh, we were doing yukhadi una. So wow is there, right? Wow is there and then wow is there in, uh, in your second person as well. If you look at the table, wow is there in your Second person as well. Like Tansuruna, right? 
Tansuruna also has vow here. So how will you tell this one is they and this one is you? Right? Ya in the beginning tells this is the third person. Masculine. Ta in the beginning tells this is second person. Uh, masculine plural. Doer. Is this clear? Okay. So this the beginning and the end. Both 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 are very important. So that's what I was trying to explain in the beginning when we started this, and it, this is true for asma, of al, everything. Okay. So keep that in mind, inshallah. What do you think about yakzibuna? It is mudare. How do we know this is mudare? Ya is the sign of mudare. Very well done. It is rough in status. Bisubutu noon because noon is intact. It is rough in status. Bisubutu noon because noon is intact. And this was from my afalul khamsa because it has vow there. So who's the doer here? Is it it's some ma masculine plural, but is it second person or third person? It is they because of ya in the beginning. Because of ya in the beginning. You know it's the third person, right? Easy. What about Rabi Hat? Rabi Hat. Madi, Barakalawik, Sister Rubin. Now tell me, it is Madi. Now, who is the doer here? It is feminine, third person, singular. So it is here. Can you see the doer in here? Can you see the doer in the here? No, you cannot. It is a damir al mustatir. This ta is the sign that tells us the doer is feminine. Good job. Good job. Very well done. Let me ask you um, another one before I take you back to what we, we were supposed to do today, inshallah. So, what do you think about this one? Ah, manu. Madi, Mudari. Madi. Okay. Right answer. Tell me the doer. Can you see the doer? And if you see the doer, who is the doer? Very well done. Wow is the doer. And in English, this wow is denoting they, masculine. Right? So now, let, let me just take you to the to the to this one, al haruful nasib al mudare. Those that make mudare mansub are an, lan, li, kai, and then li and kai can be seen as separate letters or words in your Quran. In Quran, we will see li separate from kai, and then hatta fa. Okay, izan is not in Quran, so we will not be too worried about it. An means two. Okay, an means two. Lan means will not. Li kai or li or kai separate, they all mean so that in order to. So that in order to. Hatta, hatta means until to the point that, so that. Okay, there are three meanings. You have to memorize all of them. And fa means so that as well. And um, there will be, as a you will see a meaning that is as a result of. Okay, sometimes you will see as a result as a result as well in this, um, you know, in, in translations, the meaning for fa can be 
um, it, it may not be translated, uh, but it may have that, you know, um, that uh, connotation where uh, we will find translation saying, consequentially, this happened, okay? But to keep things simple, I would like everyone to remember, to memorize these haruf, okay? And then likai, likai, hatafa, and izan, so that in the next session, everyone is well versed with this concept, okay? So um, that was that. And just briefly, just briefly, you, when you have, uh, those of you who, who have gone over the slides must have seen this word implied in the slides, right? That fail, mudare, marfu ends with dhamma on the last root letter of the word which can be visible or implied, right? Implied in case the inbuilt pronoun is hua, hiya, anta, ana, nahi. Keep that in mind. What does this implied mean? Just real quick, if you can understand this, that will be good. If, if you don't, inshallah, with passage of time, this will be very clear. So when you see a mudare, like yan suru, that is ending with a last letter, that is sahi. It's not a weak letter. It's not alif, vau, and ya, right? It is an intact letter. It's a sahi letter. Then the sign of mudare will be a dhamma that is zahira. What does zahir mean? What do you understand by zahir? When you see zahir, something is zahir, what does it mean? You can see it, right? It is visible, right? Evident. It is clear. There is no ambiguity about it, right? You look at the word, you see that Dhamma sitting on top of um, Ra. There is no confusion about it. But when you see Tarda, Tarda, what are the root letters of Tarda? Who remembers the root letters of Tarda? Tarda. What are the root letters? Ra, dod, ra, dod, ya. Hmm? Ra, dod, ya. Can you see anything on top of this alif here? Do you see the dhamma here? You don't, right? There is no dhamma because uh, anyways, alif cannot have any haraka because it is an alif. What happens is that ya of tarda in last letter changed itself into alif. And this alif is imagined, is this alif is imagined to have dhamma, okay? So that imagined dhamma, that implied dhamma, that thought of dhamma is going to call, to be, is going to be called a dhamma tul muqaddara, okay? It is implied, we know that the status of this word is rough because there is nothing in front of this that is making it and any of uh, any other status, right? It's not, you know, it is it is rough in status, but we cannot see it, but we can still say that it is rough in status. There's no reason there. Compared to this slide, look at this one. When I show you Yansura, it is very clear, it is Mansu by fatha, that is zahira, you can see fatha is uh, uh, there, right? But in case of tarda, when you see this alif, this baby alif or alif maksura, shortened alif, do you see any haraka, any fatha on top of this? You see anything? Tell me if you see, you don't see anything. But where do we learn lan? What kind of a word is lan? Lan is a har that makes mudare mansub, right? Right? Lan was from your anlan likai izan hatta fa, right? Lan was a word that is going to make your mudare mansub, right? It will bring a fatha to your mudare. But when I see, when I see here, I don't see any fatha at the end, but I know, I know. I will just say, to, I will tell myself this mudhari is mansub because of lan and the vata is 
implied or imagined okay or thought of like you know i'm just thinking that it, it this letter does have a patha that is not visible to me it's not as evident as patha on the raw because my letter is a weak letter right alif is a weak letter it cannot take the mafata kasra it is always sukoon daiman it is always with uh, going to be without any haraka so now what is the confusion uh, sister rana asked let me um, end the recording here subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik uh here stop